Hello and welcome back to this week's edition of 5 Minute Geography with me Stephen Doyle explaining as simply as possible the world around us. This week in 5 Minute Geography we look at the 7 natural wonders of the world. Don't forget to stick around to the end of the video for another 5 Minute Geography Fact of the Week. Mount Everest Mount Everest is renowned as the highest spot on earth. Mount Everest lies within the Himalaya mountains and were created when the Indian plate collided with the Eurasian plate. Mount Everest can be found on the Himalaya mountain range on the border of Tibet and Nepal. Mount Everest is still growing at a height of about 2 to 3 centimeters each year. In Nepal, Mount Everest is known as Sagamartha, meaning goddess of the sky. While in Tibet, it is known as Chomalungma, meaning Goddess Mother of the World. The Harbour of Rio de Janeiro The Harbour of Rio de Janeiro, located in Brazil, it is surrounded by magnificent granite mountains that were formed through weathering and erosion from the Atlantic Ocean. The harbour of Rio de Janeiro is also known as Guanabara Bay and is well known for the famous image of the huge white statue of Christ the Redeemer, just on top of the Coracavado Mountains. It is the largest bay in the world based purely on the volume of water. The Great Barrier Reef the Great Barrier Reef is not just one big, long connected reef, but it is made up of more than about 3,000 individual reefs constructed by billions of tiny coral polyps which are living organisms. The Great Barrier Reef stretches over 2,600 kilometers and includes more than 900 islands. It is listed as a World Heritage Area and is protected by the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. This reef is so large that it can be seen from space. Victoria Falls As the Zambezi River crosses the border of Zambia and Zimbabwe, it plunges 108 meters down in a beautiful waterfall that is 1.7 kilometers wide. The falls are also known as Mosi Autunya, meaning smoke that thunders. It is the largest single sheet of flowing water when you consider both its height and its width. Paracutan Volcano The Paracutan Volcano is a once active cinder cone volcano in Mexico. It is not the biggest, the largest or most destructive volcano in the world but it was chosen as one of the seven natural wonders of the world simply because humans were there to witness and document its birth in 1943. From then it grew three quarters of its current size within the first year and is now estimated to be around three kilometers high. It continuously erupted for 19 years but became dormant in 1952. It has yet to erupt again. The Grand Canyon The Grand Canyon is a famous gorge located in Arizona. It is 1.8 kilometers deep and 446 kilometers long. The Grand Canyon is not the steepest or the longest canyon in the world, but it was chosen to be a natural wonder of the world for its overall scale and size as well as its beautiful colored landscape. The Grand Canyon's massive and colourful landscape provides breathtaking views that cannot be found anywhere else in the world. The Aurora Borealis The Aurora Borealis is also known as the Northern Lights and are naturally occurring lights or they are like glowing waves across the sky. The Northern Lights occur when gas particles in the Earth's atmosphere collide with charged particles from the Sun's atmosphere. The electrons and protons 
travel millions of miles from the sun to the earth on a solar wind. People have been observing the Northern Lights as far back as 1619. Inuits believed the lights were spirits of their ancestors playing a game with a walrus skull used as the ball, while according to Finnish folklore, a mystical arctic fox is running in the north and touching the mountains with its fur causing sparks to fly off into the sky. While Mount Everest is the highest spot on earth, it is not actually the tallest mountain. That distinction belongs to Mount McKilney in Alaska, which is the tallest mountain when measured from above sea level. The tallest mountain in the world, whose base is mostly underwater, is Mauna Kea Volcano in Hawaii, which extends 4.2 kilometers into the air and around 6 kilometers into the sea, giving it a total measurement of 10.2 kilometers. As always, I've been Stephen Doyle with 5 Minute Geography. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, please click the like and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like me to cover a specific topic, please just pop it in the comment section below.